Hi, this is Ken Lau. Lau, my friends asked me how to register and claim HRDF. So the register part I covered in the last video and now we talk about claim. So for claiming is uh, after you register as a success registered employer. Every time you want to do a training, you first need to go through the first step, apply grant. And if it's approved, then you can do the training. Uh, you can conduct training. Or I mean, and after that, as an employer, they need to submit the claim. So there are two process right here. And it is show here in the guidelines and you can take a look at here and um, they are how to apply a grant and there's also a claim helper so these are the two we want to focus the first is how to apply so most of the training will be fall under the HRD Corp claimable cost so when you click on it it will show as here So, HRDF Grant Application Helper. So, it used to be called SBR HUS. So, you submit this. So, the step of carefully designed by HRD Corp. Uh, so, you need to apply the grant at least one day before the commencement of training. You can apply the grant, but doesn't mean that it's approved. So, uh, one day is not sufficient. If a query, if you have query, then it doesn't work. Um, and the other is that supporting documents must be submitted with the quotation, the training profile, schedule, and this has changed also. Not just trainer profile, you need the trainer CV, uh, schedule, and course content. So not all is both already must be there, and uh, then you log into the e account, click on the application, click on the grant, click apply grant, click apply, click the schema code somewhere here. Okay, so yeah, here, schema code, and then click apply. Select so immediate officer. Click next. So right here next. Select so registered. So training provider. So you can key in the. For example, my company is one zero three two, zero four six B. So then you click on the search. You should find my training provider name, which is Creative Wise, Sanjabo Hat. and select the training program from the list so you can see there are microsoft so we can choose the programs like microsoft excel basic intermediate advanced macro power query and this is provided by the train pointer so you explained all this uh you can take a look at why yeah so very important, yeah, why? So the adult learner need to know why. So then you click on the next. Then select the trainer. Uh, trainer is here. Yeah, external trainer. If it's an internal, then you do it differently. So this is an add. Key in training location. Okay. And then you click next. So the full address so the level of certificates so can be service of attendance and then click next so we can click no there's no debate follow the notes so there's some notes here so there are batch number you need to key in the the dates when do you want to do the training that is a schedule so the dates and then 
clear the app batches where's the app batches okay here's the app batches click save and then in the batches you can add the trainees detail so click on this add training details then you key in all required details such as IC, name, gender, race, academic or co qualification, trainee. So in other words, uh, oh, you can actually have Excel version. Okay, so you can choose the Excel version. You should be able to enter all in one shot. Click add. Um, right, uh, this is do it manually. So if you use Excel, you can do it all in one go so you click next yes then you key in the cost fee the cost fee such as this one uh, the cost fee per day so two days then the number of units one pack And then there's uh, allowances. You can enter that as well. As for the allowance, it's not paid to the training provider. So it's for the company to keep. So there's also training airfares if there is any. Then you key in this and click next. So all these uh, should have uh, supporting documents. Okay. So take the declarations and select the grant officer. Okay, so you need the supporting documents, cost fee quotations. Okay, <coughs> all needed documents is important. See that. This is why I say is that uh, you need a trainer CV, a curriculum vitae, yeah, and a course contain, or the timetable. Uh, if you're using hotel, you need a hotel quotations. Uh, for the training provider, there you need a training provider quotation. The course outline, course contain, that's including the timetable. Uh, the trainer's profile. So all this is required in order to submit your grants, approve, uh, apply your grants successfully. Okay, so uh, if you didn't do that, then you have to receive a query. Okay, so that's complete the first process, which is here, apply grant. So supposing that you submit all the documents successfully and you get approved and you do a training and after you complete the training, then you need to go to the e tree system again to submit claim. So you tell HRD Corp that the training is completed and now please release the money to the training provider and also HRD Corp. <coughs> So how is the process like? Well, that one is under the claim helper. So again, it's under HRD Corp claimable cost. So go over here, click on this. That is for, um, yeah, this is claims need to be submitted after the approval of grants and training completion. So this is what it means. After training completed, approval, and currently committed, you can now submit your claims. So that's what it means. And uh, your training claims must be submitted within six months after training completion. And uh, the training provider claims must be approved before the submission of claims by employers. So this I'm not quite sure. So now you, as an employer, okay, you are a ABC uh, Farmers Sutica Company, for example. So you click on Applications, click Submit Claims with Grant, 
click the claims see here see look at the sign this is well designed by Hesha Decop uh, okay so only the approved grants and completed trainings will be will have this the button so click on that so there are the approved grants and then provide contact details of office will be contacted okay so so here these are office will be contacted and others verify information uh, these are verified only just click next just to make sure this is correct the training day is correct actual training day is correct yeah Oh, you can actually change the actual training date. Hmm. Yeah, I think this does allow that. So next thing is fill in the trainer's information. Again, the this is already by done by training provider. You just choose the name. Type the name. I see. Oh. And then key in trainee attendance. Again, it's uh, already updated by training provider. That's why uh, you can only do this step after the training provider did that. So that means that before you submit your claims, your training providers need to do some job also. So. Uh, the training providers need to submit claim also and update uh, the training training details or attendance so the training provider need to do this first before you can do this so there is a is a difference here okay before that happens so train provider submit that and then update then you can go for account submit so let's come back to here so that's how uh, that's why you it's just come after this then next fill in the trainee attendance form so again it's updated by train provider so attendance forms so you just click to click next There is not much that you can change. It's just for viewing only. Free and claims amount for each allowable claim item. So as you can see here, so important is the supporting documents. Uh, if there is any, yeah. So there are attachment you need to put there, such as the invoices from uh, hotel yeah you want to do that uh, such as hotel allowance and then fill in the employer declaration form i think that's about it right so yeah this is a good good list transportation charge official receipt flight tickets such as uh, asia mars um, and then this t3 form same with training provider oh they actually need the T3 form, same as train provider. So, so the train provider need to provide them the T3 T3 form also. So, so that means that uh, you need to have provided. Uh, a T3 form is signed here so very important T3 form okay and uh, what else you need um, hotel rental official receipt if requested okay rental of that trainees no documents trainer the daily allowance no document required the consumer training provide materials no token required so yeah so training material cool 
and uh, okay so then you can just submit the claim uh, by clicking the save and submit button so there is a button here save and submit button see so it will be reviewed and checked within five working days so excluding saturday and sunday and public holiday so letter of approval will be sent to employers after the claim has been approved okay that is the form now uh, you might be interested that what can you claim right so allowable cost will tell you that now they come with a allowable booklet. Oh, it's a new one. And there's a table of allowance. So click on it and you should find this. Oh, much more easier to read, cleaner. So uh, you can see many, many types. This is face to face. And uh, should we have something like online? Oh yeah, there is. So the online, online training you have also uh, consumer training material for online training, in-house, public. Um, HRD call approved physical. Uh, internet data cost 100 gig per group. So you can claim that if it's uh, online. And um, okay, uh, online training, financial assist, uh, So, uh, online training, a e learning. If it's uh, training hours, seven hours, you can enter seven, and then the maximum you can claim is seven hundred per pack. So it is possible to claim. Oh, okay. So if that's the case, then the uh, my. Then I have um, <coughs> my online course, online Excel course for accountants. Then uh, I think I can claim. You can learn Excel intermediate level, advanced level. Um, and uh, according to what it says here, it's definitely more than seven hours. And you can claim this. So there is the uh, and my so you can see take a example of this Excel intermediate level. All right, you can see that uh, here the four minutes, two minutes, five minutes. You uh, we can do a counting at it inside. So four minutes, five minutes, maybe. Yeah, cool. So I add up all this here, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20. Ooh, okay. So uh, you can easily take uh, about 4 hours. If it's just about time, so you have 350 per pack. So if you choose to, you can uh, go for my online courses. You can learn at your own pace. Um, yeah, and the website is amazing, Excel Digital. Mm. So beside that, that's uh, about it, right? I see any other things that you want to do. If the case submitted by a training provider, the supporting documents require a uh, joy declaration voting form, attendance invoice issued to HRD Corp. So, ah, I think it's different. This submit claims is either you submit by the employer or by the training provider. So if, uh, hmm, because usually it's training provider submit the claims. Employee don't really need to submit the claims. So maybe this is for internal submitting the claims. So you got to check out with uh, HRD Corp still. Yeah, so this is the guideline. I'm just following what it says. 
So if you are unclear, please look for HRD Corp and you can reach them by clicking on the support. And uh, yeah, so you can easily issue a ticket. Now you have a ticket. So you have a tail levy calculation guideline. Wow, there's a lot more to study. Oh, you can also have HRD Corp. Click train provider, select, scroll down, to cost. Oh, mm, okay. Okay, so uh, this is another thing. If you want to be a HRD Corp train the trainer certificate, certified trainer so you can go here click on this like hrd corp so again this is another thing um click here train providers hrd trainer and uh, scroll down um hmm visit Scroll down, look for TTD cost registration. So maybe somewhere here. Oh, yeah, here. So this is the one TTD and the uh, fee structure is right here. And uh, say, for example, that wow, <laughs> my my performance coach right on the top there. So uh, you can go for this Zoom platform. So um, how do you do that? Right, select the item. So search and uh, click on the list that you can choose and then click on the view brochures. And uh, just view it, right? You can choose that. Okay, so this is the my master trainer. So it's a class A master trainers. Okay, and the uh, you have all this thing here. Uh, you have all this. So no chicken is that uh, there's no other train the trainer course that provide all this free speak with impact, free one to one coaching, free one year, free fifty learning preview, free TDD reattendance. They can allow you to reattend your participant success story. Training can be done in many many language and. Uh, yeah. So it can be physical, it can be virtual, and uh, that's all. These are the contact. Now again, here. Uh, I particularly like this item more free one year of online support. If you are the first time trainer, uh, you would just want to be just enter the training industry. So you need someone to guide you. And I mean, not many train the trainers. Uh, course offer this um not that i know but only this so far only this that i know that offer a one year of online support and yeah so and they're listed at the number one and then you have the number two now don't believe me let's look at the brow lens so click on this okay so five days online train the trainer okay so <coughs> um, methodology disclaimer as you can see that here and uh, so my question for you is that do you see the option do you see that they offer that that do they printed the 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 things called uh what do you call that um um this one free one year online support or spirit with impact books one month coaching after training free 50 lily right so uh is this company offer so you check about it uh okay okay let's look at another one okay uh the third one okay let's just go on this wheel so clear the view and you will be able to see oh wow cool okay impressive and then uh, let's look at here so 
uh, why should the cop should you that key take away from this uh, so again the mm, did you see that this offer free one year online support free speed with impact is a physical book did they offer one month coaching did they offer free 50 no I don't see it oh did you see it let me just see that here um, no right yeah no okay so don't believe me let's just look at one more no wish evolution okay let's just click on this okay knowledge evolution so having this proof uh one year oh we have this one yes okay so one year follow-up coaching and mentors is worth three thousand yes that's good so uh um does it uh provide Okay, we got one year, but it provides books. And this is not just another book, it is a MPH published book. Uh, one month coaching, free 50 learning videos. Uh, that means it's uh, after that, that's a lot of continuous support. So uh, it doesn't sell that. So again, this is still the best of the best uh, at this point. Yeah. So we can go further and check it out uh, one by one. So, yeah. So thanks for watching and I hope this helped you to understand how to claim HRD Corp claimable costs. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Asia.